superbugs that have the potential to wipe out mankind. Here are 15 of the most scary viruses. Number 15, Junin virus. The Junin virus, now more commonly known as the Argentinian Mamarina virus, is a disease that was first reported in 1958 near the Argentinian town of Junin. While the virus itself isn't a problem, it can lead to the development of Argentine hemorrhagic fever, which causes drastic damage to the cardiovascular, neurological, and immune systems. Early symptoms of the fever are pink eye, a nasty rash across the body called pupura, that occurs because of bleeding underneath the skin, and sometimes sepsis, and is difficult to diagnose early on because of the initial similarities with the flu. The fever, however, has a mortality rate of between 20 and 30%, Luckily, it isn't an airborne virus and can only be contracted by contact with rodent feces. But in recent decades, the number of cases has been slowly rising due to increasingly poor hygiene in the region. Number 14, Ebola virus disease. Ebola virus disease is a hemorrhagic fever that affects humans and primates. And when outbreaks occur, it can be very difficult to contain them. The reason for this is that it's spread by contact with bodily fluids such as blood or saliva and can remain viable on surfaces for many hours after exposure. The first symptoms develop at some point between two days and three weeks after it enters the body and starts with a fever, sore throat, muscle pain, and headaches. As things progress, sufferers will experience vomiting, diarrhea, and rashes, a reduction of liver and kidney function, and internal and external bleeding. The mortality rate of Ebola is a frightening average of 50%, often as a result of fluid loss usually kills within 16 days following the first symptoms. Number 13, Lassa virus. The Lassa virus affects people living in Western Africa and affects about 500,000 people a year, with at least 5,000 of those cases resulting in death. It's usually transmitted to humans after contact with the urine or feces from a mouse, which can then be spread by person-to-person -person contact. It leads to the development of Lassa hemorrhagic fever, and while many won't develop any symptoms at all, a significant proportion suffer from fever, headaches, muscle weakness, and vomiting. When it becomes more severe, it can cause bleeding through the digestive system, with blood emerging from the mouth, and those who usually die do within two weeks of the first symptoms. Even surviving this fever has consequences too, with about 25% of people experiencing severe hearing loss, with only about half of those ever going on to make a full recovery. Number 12, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, often called MERS for short, is a respiratory infection that develops following infection from the MERS coronavirus. It's believed to have originated in bats, but is mainly transmitted to humans by camels. And while human-to-human -human contact can spread the disease, it's rare. The first symptoms include a fever, cough, diarrhea, and difficulty in breathing and it has a mortality rate of around 33% of those that test positive, usually as a result of respiratory failure or a significantly reduced kidney function. The first known case was identified in 2012 in Saudi Arabia, and so far only around 2,000 people are known to have had it. Number 11, Kyasaner Forest Disease. Kyasaner Forest Disease is a hemorrhagic fever that's found in the Indian subcontinent and is transmitted to humans through tick bites. Around 400 to 500 people contract it each year, and while the mortality rate is between 3 and 10%, the symptoms are particularly unpleasant. At first, victims suffer from a high fever and pulsing headaches in the front of the head, and then begin to bleed from the body orifices, usually the nose, throat, and gums. As it takes hold, it can lead to muscle stiffness, uncontrollable tremors, a lack of reflex responses, and a loss of mental faculties. It's possible to recover from the more serious effects within a couple of weeks, but some of the symptoms will last for many months, and in some cases, they will never fully go away. Number 10, rabies. Rabies is a virus that's present in more than 150 countries and can be transmitted to humans by something as simple as a bite from an infected dog. Signs that the animal or person is infected include foaming at the mouth, and despite it being well-documented, if symptoms start to present themselves, it's usually too late to prevent it from leading to death. The reason for this is that it targets the brain and causes it to swell. It can be anywhere between two days and six years before the first noticeable effects start to happen, and can include uncontrollable movements of muscles and limbs, temporary paralysis, confusion, fainting, bouts of overexcitement, and in some cases, an overwhelming fear of water. Every year, almost 20,000 people die from rabies, 
where the vast majority of these are in Africa, with almost half of them being children under the age of 15. Number 9. Measles Measles is a highly infectious disease that's caused by the measles virus and spreads either through body contact or through the air after an infected person coughs or sneezes. The first symptoms are a high fever, runny nose, a cough, and inflamed eyes, and it soon progresses to cause the development of white spots inside the mouth and a red rash across the body. It can also cause ear infections, pneumonia, seizures, blindness, and brain swelling, and is said to be one of the most painful medical experiences a human can go through. Luckily, it's completely preventable by vaccine, and since this measure was invented, the deaths caused by measles have been dramatically reduced. As recently as 1980, 2.6 million people worldwide died from it, but the yearly figures for measles deaths are now counted in the tens or hundreds of thousands. Recently, however, with a lower number of vaccinated people in the population, deaths have begun to increase again, and this is a virus that could well be on its way back and poses a significant threat to all of us. Number 8. Japanese Encephalitis Virus First described in medical journals in 1871, Japanese encephalitis virus leads to the development of Japanese encephalitis, which is an infection that takes hold in the brain and causes it to swell. In most cases, there aren't any symptoms, but in about 0.5% of those infected, it can cause excruciating headaches, vomiting, extreme confusion, and seizures. These effects begin to occur a week or two after the initial infection, and there's no cure, so patients are made comfortable with the hope that they'll recover. There is, however, an effective vaccine, and because it's spread by mosquitoes, there are other methods to avoid being infected, too. It's still the cause of a significant number of deaths each year, though with around 17,000 fatalities occurring throughout Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific, even if someone does survive, they have a 50% chance of being permanently injured by the virus, so preventative measures are crucial. Number 7. Crimean Congo Fever Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever is an illness that spread by ticks throughout Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and the Balkan states. It was first identified in the 1940s and is a particular risk to farmers and agricultural workers who get too close to livestock that the ticks live on. Within two weeks of infection, patients may begin to experience a high fever, muscle pains, headaches, diarrhea, and bleeding beneath the skin that creates dark patches and the sensation of swelling. There is no vaccine or treatment for this fever, and those who contract it are usually taken to intensive care to give them the best chance of fighting it off. The mortality rate is between 10 and 40 percent, with most of those who survive getting through the ordeal within two weeks of the symptoms first appearing. Luckily, very few people contract it, though, and only several hundred cases are reported each year. Number 6. SARS-CoV Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome is a viral infection of the respiratory tract that's caused by the SARS coronavirus. It first emerged during an outbreak in 2002 that began in China and led to 8,098 people being infected across 17 countries, and 774 people dying as a result, which means it has a mortality rate of approximately 9.6%. It originated in bats and civets before moving into humans and begins with symptoms such as a cough, sore throat, tiredness, and a fever above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In some people, it leads to the development of pneumonia, and in most cases, this was the cause of death. It transmits between people through bodily fluids, and luckily, there have been no reported cases since 2004. In late 2019, however, a new related virus known as the SARS-CoV-2 began spreading around the world and is the cause of the COVID-19 pandemic that has a much higher rate of transmission, but fortunately, an apparently far lower rate of death. Number 5. Machupo Virus The Machupo virus exists within a species of large Vesper mouse that's native to the regions around Bolivia. It's excreted in their fecal material and, if it enters the human body, can soon lead to the development of Bolivian hemorrhagic fever, or BHF for short. It's an illness that was first reported in 1962 in the Bolivian town of San Joaquin and occasionally causes outbreaks that infect several hundreds of people. The initial symptoms are a high fever, lethargic feeling, headaches, and muscle pains, which are very similar to those caused by malaria, so it's often misdiagnosed. It's only when the blood spots on the skin and bleeding begins from the nose and gums that it becomes clear that it's BHF, and this tends to occur a week after the first symptoms. In around 33% of sufferers, further complications such as tremors, delirium, and convulsions will occur, and in about one in four people who contract the disease will die from it. There are no vaccines to protect against BHF, 
but because it's closely related to the Junin virus, it's thought that treatment methods can actually be used for both. With very few people falling victim to the Machupo virus, though, this is a theory that has not yet been proven. Such is the speed at which viruses take hold and the high mortality rate. The Machupo virus was one of the series of contagions that have been explored by the US and Russia as potential bioweapons before their development was banned. A researcher who worked at Fort Derrick in Maryland was bitten by an infected mouse in 1964 and became the first person to die from it outside of Bolivia. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 4. Dengue Virus The dengue virus is carried by mosquitoes in tropical regions around the world and is so common that it's believed to infect as many as 390 million people every year and kills up to 40,000. It causes the development of dengue fever, and while 80% of people may be asymptomatic, for the remaining 20%, it's a miserable thing to catch. Between three days and two weeks after infection, symptoms may develop that range from a high fever and headache to joint pains, vomiting, and a skin rash across the body. Patients can recover from this stage in a matter of days, but some will go on to get either dengue hemorrhagic fever, where they begin to bleed from the nose, ears, and gums, and are left with a low number of blood cells in their body, or dengue shock syndrome, where blood pressure falls to dangerously low levels. If you've contracted the dengue virus, then your body will produce antibodies to help stave it off in the future. But there are actually five different types, which means that if you're bitten by a mosquito with one that's different to what you had before, you could go through the whole thing again. There are, however, vaccines that can help control its spread, but the most effective method is to reduce the number of mosquitoes in infected regions. Number 3. Marburg Virus The Marburg virus, commonly referred to as MARV, is classified as a Group 4 pathogen by the World Health Organization and is passed on to humans who come into contact with a specific species of fruit bat. It can then be transmitted between people by bodily fluid, such as saliva, on broken skin, or during unprotected sex, and leads to the development of the Marburg virus disease. This illness was first recorded in 1967 after German workers in Marburg and Frankfurt started exhibiting symptoms after coming into contact with tissues from infected grivet monkeys. Typically, within days of being exposed, patients will start experiencing similar effects to those of Ebola, with bleeding, high fever, disorientation, and low blood pressure. It has a similar mortality rate to Ebola, too, and this is why the Soviet Union researched its viability for use in biological warfare during the Cold War. There were apparently three separate facilities that looked at how they could use MARV in a war setting, and it has been suggested that they reached an advanced stage with their research. In the US, MARV is classified as a select agent, which means that it's seen as having the potential to pose a serious threat to public health and safety. Number 2. Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome Hantaviruses are a range of viruses that are hosted within a species of rodents, such as the hispid cotton rat and the deer mouse, that are native to the US, Canada, and some regions of South America. If someone ingests particles of their fecal matter, they may contract the virus, and in some cases, it will lead to the development of the hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, which is a particularly nasty experience. The first symptoms that will present themselves are similar to flu, and will see sufferers develop a high fever, dry cough, headaches, muscle pains, tiredness, and shortness of breath. Soon, further respiratory complications can emerge, which will require the use of a mechanical ventilator to keep the patient alive while they fight off the illness. Even if medical treatment is administered in the early stages, there's no guarantee of survival, and the syndrome has a fatality rate of approximately 36%, or about one in every three people. The main difficulty is the accurate diagnosis of HPS, because it's so similar to the flu in its early stages. It's only when the severe coughing begins and when the lungs begin to fill with fluid that it becomes clear that the person is suffering from something more severe. And by this point, the damage has already been done. The lungs struggle to recover from the buildup of liquid, and this is why such a high proportion of people die. There are no vaccines or cures for HPS, so the only option is to support the patient until it runs its course. There are, however, preventative measures that can involve reducing the specific rodent population to prevent the possibility of infection people are advised to stay clear of rodent dropping just in case they contain a hantavirus. The first known case of HPS emerged in 1993 during an outbreak in the Four Corners region of the U.S., which is the place where the four states of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado meet. During a two-month period, 24 people were diagnosed with the sin nombre ortho hantavirus and went on to develop HPS, with 12 of them subsequently dying. 
It affected Native Americans disproportionately, and despite not being known to medical science before this, there are actually several accounts in Navajo teachings that suggest this type of outbreak has happened for a long time. They have a belief that mice are the sources of bad luck and illness, and similar events occurred in 1918, 1933, and 1934. It's one of the most dangerous virus-related illnesses that can be contracted in the United States, so it's lucky that it hasn't evolved to be transmitted between people. Number 1. Influenza Influenza, which we more commonly call the flu, is quite simply the most devastating virus from a human perspective that we've ever been subjected to. Caused by the influenza virus, it's highly adaptive and goes around the world every year with a slightly different genetic makeup, which means that vaccines have to be constantly changed and our immune systems don't have the antibodies they require to react quickly to it. Usually the symptoms include a runny nose, sore throat, muscle pains, and headaches, but sometimes it can cause viral pneumonia, sinus infections, breathing difficulties, and heart failure. Even though most people catch it and recover within a week or so, there are estimated to be as many as 5 million severe cases worldwide each year, which leads to around 650,000 deaths as a result of respiratory failure. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.